tell you guys. I'm glad you can make it again this morning. And get yourself ready for a gentle beginner yoga, just like I promised. Just for those of you who are new to the entire practice, I want you to feel like you can be successful, right? This is not an audition. This is simply you showing up for yourself, committing to this practice and working on helping out your physical well-being, helping on working out your mental well-being. So that's what today's practice is going to be about. So take a minute, get your mat set up, get some water. And that's pretty much all you need. So whenever you're ready, you can make your way down to the floor. Sit in a nice comfortable seat with your uh, legs crossed, sitting up nice and tall. You can bring your hands in your lap or take a drink of your water real quick. Yes, it is water. I promise you that. Set that aside. And then just sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and bring your hands into your lap. Take a big inhale. Lift those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale. Drop them back and down your spine. Go ahead and close your eyes. Inhaling in through the nose. And out. Big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Keep that rhythm going and just notice how the breath feels as it enters the body. <clears throat> Maybe you notice the cool sensation as it comes in through the nostrils and the warm exhalation as it leaves your body. Now I want you to really pay attention to where you're feeling your body move as you breathe. So just focus on that right now. Do you notice your chest lifting? Do you notice that your breath is even maybe short and kind of stifled? Or like your heart rate is elevated a little bit. If you're noticing that, that's very common when we are in any type of a stress response, but it's also common because of our day-to-day -day everything, how we sit, how we move, how we talk with people, right? So when we are rounding forward and we're getting excited and talking really quickly, you're using a short breath from your chest which I like to call the stress breath. And it tightens up all of the muscles in that upper body and it doesn't allow you to use your entire diaphragm to get all of that beautiful oxygen that we need, literally deep to our soul. Okay, maybe not to your soul, but it's gonna help feel good anyways, right? So with that next inhale, I want you to really feel your entire body expanding. Imagine a line of air going from the top of your throat all the way down to your belly button. So inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. Pull your belly button in at the same time. Like you're forcing that air out. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Belly button in. Inhale. Exhale. And if you're not quite sure how to engage your abs to help push that air out, with your exhale, I want you to try this time, we'll try the SH sound. So inhale, exhale, one more just like that, in, out, right? Maybe that one works for you. This time we're gonna try the SE sound. So inhale, Exhale, in, out, and finally we'll try the H-A sound. Inhale, exhale, in, out, great. So each one of those sounds that you make as you exhale through your mouth can help you really engage your core. So at any point you feel like you're not getting your abs engaged, 
use one of those sounds to help you really press that air out but engage your entire diaphragm and when we do that we lessen restriction in our back we have better posture we have deeper breaths that go into our blood into our organs into our brain and help you feel so much better just through breathing you guys oh i know it's friggin magic so big inhale in exhale let it go awesome you can open your eyes at this point inhale sweep your arms all the way up to the sky look to the ceiling big stretch here and exhale float your hands down to your side inhale lifting exhale inhale exhale great keep your hands lowered inhale lift your shoulders all the way up to your ears exhale loop them back and down your spine inhale lifting exhale lower inhale exhale one more in and out great job inhale bring your arms forward palms together point your fingers right at me like you're sending me all of your energy and i hope you catch mine take a big inhale in exhale we're going to pull that right arm across our chest opening to the back wall giving a little bit of a twist here in our spine look over that right shoulder extend through all of your fingertips here notice where you're holding in tension maybe all of a sudden that left thigh became really tense or lifted off the ground try to just relax it down let the upper body feel that twist inhaling in exhale bring that right hand forward inhale send your left arm back look over your left shoulder this time focus on that breath big inhale in exhale let it go inhale and exhale big inhale exhale bring that hand forward we're going to move on to one count so inhale exhale back inhale forward exhale back keep it going one side to the other use your breath to guide the motion because if you're just moving and not breathing you're going to pass out on me and i don't want that to happen so inhale exhale inhale exhale great one more each side last one and bring your hands down to your side give yourself a little shoulder roll here inhaling in and out holding it nice and still just right here take a big inhale exhale inhale sweep those arms all the way up exhale just release that right arm down you can bring the palm down to the floor keeping that left arm extended turn your chest towards the sky now you can stay right here if you're feeling enough of a stretch in that side body or you can drop down onto that form and everyone welcome lenny our co-host you finally made it he was slacking today <laughs> focus on that breath big inhale in exhale draw that left knee down towards the ground feeling that stretch here one more breath in and out inhale come all the way back up to center both arms up big stretch exhale release that left arm down this time again either coming down onto the palm or all the way down onto that forearm sinking that right leg down towards the mat turn your chest towards the sky sorry he was driving <laughs> i'm late focus on that breath big inhale in and now notice if you're sinking towards your mat really lengthen here pull your ribs towards the ceiling feeling that stretch and exhale inhale brings you all the way back up big stretch and exhale bring your hands down in front right onto your knees we're going to take the fingertips onto the bottom side of our knees lengthen through your arms here inhale press your chest forward look straight forward slightly up don't crank your head we don't want to compress nerves in our neck here inhaling in loop those shoulders back and down your spine 
Exhale, pull your belly button to the back wall. Tuck your chin into your chest. Turn your hips. Turn that tailbone so it's going towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen, come forward. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that going. Two more. Last one. Great. Inhale. Sit up nice and tall. Take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to drop our ear, the right ear to the right shoulder. Roll your forehead towards the front side of your mat, dropping your chin to your chest, and then over to the left side. Now we're not going to go in a big circle all the way around because again, we don't want to compress those nerves in your neck. So we're going to hold it at the left, inhale, and exhale, drop and go the opposite direction. And we'll do that a few times, just getting a nice gentle stretch in your neck. No craning, no pulling. And just do that a couple times. You can breathe in as you bring your head to one side, out as you come to the center. One more, each side. To the left, and to the right. Does anyone else get that song? To the left, to the left. Every single time, every time. All right, you guys, come on to your all fours. Bring your knees right under your hips, your wrists right under your shoulders. Fix your clothes, even though we haven't moved. It's always a mystery to me. <laughs> Get a nice straight spine here. Focusing your eyes just out in front of your nose. You can have your toes curled under or flat down. This is totally your preference here. So inhaling in, nice flat back. Exhale, pull that belly button into your spine, press that air out. Inhale, drop your belly towards the mat, look forward, send your hips to the sky. Exhale, pull your belly all the way to the sky, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone under here. Inhale, lengthen, drop that belly. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Keep it going. Two more. Last one. Great job. Go ahead and uncurl your toes if they are tucked under. Open your knees as wide as your mat and bring that right hand directly underneath of your nose. As we inhale, we're going to glide the left arm open to the ceiling. Tuck your tailbone under here. Turn your chest towards the sky. If it's too much for your neck to look up, just look to the side or look down. Find what's comfortable for you. Just because I'm doing something does not mean you have to do it exactly. We have different body mechanics and it's important to listen to your own body. So if your arm's not comfortable up here, you drop it down to your hip, you pull that shoulder to the back wall. Inhaling in and out. One more big breath here, in. And as we exhale, we're going to take this arm, we're going to send it through that little tunnel of the right arm, bringing your left shoulder all the way down to the mat, extend your right arm out in front. You can bring that left cheek down or turn your forehead down to the mat. Find what's comfortable for you here. If you have anything that's uncomfortable, you can take your arm out to the opposite side. Inhaling in and out. One more big breath here. In and out. Inhale, engage your abs. Pull all the way back up. Plant that left hand down under your nose. Inhale, right arm open up to the sky this time. Tuck that tailbone under. Turn your chest towards the ceiling. Just breathe. Big inhale. Exhale. Feel your ribs expanding, really utilizing every muscle in your diaphragm here. One more big breath in. Exhale, thread that right arm through the left, bring your right shoulder down to the mat, extend your left hand out in front. Choose where you'd like your head to be positioned. Inhaling in and out. 
One more breath here. In and out. Great. Inhale. Come all the way back up into our tabletop, bringing your knees back underneath of your hips, your wrists under your shoulders. Inhale. Sweep your right fingertips forward, holding it there, finding your balance. Notice if your arm is coming forward, shift your weight so you have a nice alignment here in that arm. Inhaling in. Exhale, send your left heel to the back wall. Point your toes towards the floor. Lifting up just a little bit, coming out of that left shoulder. Inhaling in. Exhale, slow and controlled. Connect your elbow to the knee, arching your back towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. Inhale. And exhale. One more. In. And out. Great. Plant that knee. Plant that right hand. And when you're ready, we're going to go on to the opposite side. So inhale. Send your left fingertips forward, holding it here, coming into nice alignment. And then as you're ready, send that right heel to the back wall. Press up and away from that right hand. Inhaling in. Exhale. Slow and controlled. Connect in the middle. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, connect. Oh, hi, Lenny. <laughs> Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead and plant your legs, plant your hands. I want you to open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. And when you're ready, send your hips to your heels. Bring your forehead all the way down. Don't crush your pets. Lenny, you got to move. Inhaling in and out. Use your hands to press into your mat, sending your hips towards your heels a little bit more. If your hips are lifted higher than mine, that's okay. With time, you'll be able to slowly lower them down towards your heels. Everyone is at their own level right now, so never compare yourself to anyone else. This is not an audition. This is simply showing up for yourself every time you come to the mat and knowing that you're gonna get a little better, whether it's in your flexibility, whether it's in your breath control, your mind control. Let me just sit here and we breathe. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that, in and out. Great. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from this morning. Inhale, come all the way back up into our tabletop position. I want you to curl your toes under this time. Inhaling in, and as you exhale, lift your knees off the mat, send your hips to the sky, pull your chest towards your thighs here. It's okay if your heels are off the mat and you have a slight bend in your knees. I'd rather that chest get closer to the mat at this point. Inhaling in, and out. Inhale. And exhale. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Feel your head coming towards the mat just a little bit more. Press through all ten fingers here. Inhale. Bend your knees. Look forward and walk yourself all the way up towards your hands or the front of the mat. You're going to feel awkward. That's okay. Go ahead and release your entire upper body over your legs here. Have a nice big bend so we can open up through that low back. Tuck your chin into your chest, allowing your neck to release. Inhaling in and out. 
Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, straighten through your legs, straighten through your back here, creating the figure seven. Look out past your nose. Halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, bring your hands to your shins this time. Halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and controlled. We're going to roll all the way up to standing. First, lengthening through your legs, tucking your tailbone under, rolling through that low back, mid back, upper back, looping your shoulders up, back and down, lengthening through your neck, lengthening through your head. Open your hands to the wall in front of you. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Release your shoulders down your body, drawing them away from your ears. Go ahead and close your eyes for a moment. Take a big inhale in. Exhale. With that next breath, bend your knees, drop your hands down, draw a big circle up and overhead. Give me a slight back bend at the top. And exhale, forward fold. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow. And just allow yourself to find a slight rock side to side here. Tuck your chin into your chest. Just focus on that breath. Inhale back to center. Release your arms and come into our halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, drop your hands to your hips here. Inhale, I want you to step that left foot back just slightly coming into a very subtle lunge here. Slight bend in that back knee, slight bend in that front knee here. Drop your right hand down to the floor, fingers pointing to the floor, and take that left hand up and over to the side here, turning your chest so you can look under that left bicep. You should feel a nice stretch through the side body, through your hip flexor here. Subtle movement is going to do a lot of work. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here. In and out. Great. Come back to center. Step your left foot forward. Step your right foot back. Slight bend in that back leg. Slight bend in your front leg. Drop your left hand down this time. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, lean it over. Look under that right bicep here. Feeling that stretch through your hip flexor. You can get a slight bend towards that back wall, but nothing that's going to cause any pain. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here. In and out. Step that right foot forward. Bring your arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms down. Step one foot back, and then the other. Shift your weight so you're coming forward. Shoulders kind of towards your um, middle finger here. Coming into our plank. You can always come down into a modified plank if that's needed. Inhaling in. Exhale, keep your elbows into your side as we slowly lower all the way down. Moving through our first vinyasa. Bring that belly down, uncurl your toes. Inhale, press through your hands, bring your upper body off the floor. Inhaling into up dog, loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Look forward. And exhale, open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your hips to your heels, child's pose. Forehead all the way down. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. And again, notice, are you breathing from your chest again? Or are you really trying to get to the very bottom of your lungs? So inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. Great, close your eyes if you haven't already. And I want you to bring a smile on your lips. And then think of a second thing that you're grateful for from this morning. So 
And with that next breath, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. Coming into that tabletop, curling your toes, sending your hips to the sky, chest towards your thighs. Inhaling in and out. Focus on dropping those shoulders down towards your low back here. One more big inhale and out. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, step just your right foot forward this time. Bring it in between your hands. Don't worry, I never make it there. It's okay if you didn't too. Inhale, bring your body weight forward, getting a nice bend in that front leg, knee directly over your ankle. Look forward here, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, release that low back leg to the ground, uncurl your toes. I want you to plant your left palm down on the mat. Inhale, open that right arm to the sky. Shift your body weight forward, taking the pressure out of your knee here. Focus on that breath. Big inhale in, exhale. Notice if that right knee is trying to push way away. Try to pull it into center for now. Inhale, exhale. Bring that right palm inside of your right knee. Turn your toes to the edge of your mat. Press that leg away. Look towards the opposite wall or up towards the ceiling. Focusing on your breath here. Make sure we're not collapsing in that left shoulder. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here. In. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly come back to center, framing that front foot with your hands. Send your hips to your heels. Lengthen through that front leg here. Inhaling in, bringing your hands into the middle of your calf area, palms down. And exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. You can keep your foot flat on the floor, or you can roll your toes towards your nose here. Find what's comfortable for you. Play around with the bend that you have in that front knee. And just breathe. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Inhale. Roll through that front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift your knee up off the floor. Step your left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Big circle. All the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant those palms. Step your opposite foot back this time. And then the other, shifting into our plank and moving through your vinyasa. Keeping those elbows into your side as you release. Inhale, lengthen into up dog. And exhale, send it back into child's pose. You can keep your knees close together in the center if you'd like to open up through that low back a little bit more, or you can keep your knees wide, opening up through your hips. Bring your forehead all the way down, close your eyes. Take a big inhale in, exhale, let it go. Focus on that breath, just let it become natural in and out through the nose. You can get a slight rock in your head, left and right, massaging through that forehead. One more breath here. Big inhale and exhale. And with that next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. You might be able to get your Heels a little closer to the ground. Now that we've warmed up, we've stretched our body a little bit. Inhaling in. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step just your left foot forward this time. Bring it in between your hands. 
Inhale, shift your body weight forward, getting that bend in the front knee. Look forward, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, release that back knee down, uncurl your toes, plant your right palm on the floor. Inhale, open that left arm to the sky. Turn your chest towards the ceiling. Focus on your breath. Inhaling in and out. Bring a big smile onto your lips because why not? It's going to be a fantastic day, you guys. One more big inhale here. Exhale, bring that left palm inside of the left knee. Turn your toes outward. Press away and look away. Coming up and out of that right shoulder here. Setting your body weight forward, taking any pressure out of your knees. Big inhale in and out. One more. Great. Inhale. Come back into center, framing that foot with your hands. And when you're ready, send your hips to your heel. Play around with lengthening that front leg, curling those toes up towards your nose. And when you're ready, tuck your chin into your chest. And just breathe. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here. Big inhale and exhale. Inhale, roll through that front foot, curl your back toes under, lift that knee up off the mat, and step your right foot up to meet your left forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms, step it back, and move through your vinyasa. And take it back into child's pose. You can bring your hands right underneath of your shoulders here. Just allow your body to completely surrender. You'll feel your shoulders roll forward. Just feel the weight of your body really sinking down into your mat or your floor, whatever you've got. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And just focus on that breath. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for, but this time I want it to be within our present moment. What are you thankful for right here, right now? Next inhale, press your arms away from your mat, bring your knees into center if they're not already there, and sit yourself back onto your heels. Take a big inhale in, sitting up nice and tall, loop your shoulders back and down your spine. Take your right hand to your chin, press it back in space, bringing your ears right over your shoulders. Big inhale in, exhale, let it go. Feeling your shoulders fall away from your ears. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Shift your body weight forward. Curl your toes under. Now this is where you might feel a bit of a burning sensation. A lot of people don't focus on their feet so much. Your hands and feet take you through your day. Give them some love. All right. Anyways. Slowly bring your body weight onto your heels. You can always lift up a little bit more if it's too uncomfortable for you. So inhaling in, 
coming into that nice alignment and just using your breath to help stretch through your feet here. Inhaling in and out. We won't be here for long, I promise. Let's take a big inhale. Exhale. One more big inhale in. Exhale. Shift your weight forward. Send your legs to one side. Bring your bottom all the way down to your mat. Extend your legs out in front. Fix all your clothes. Because we keep on moving, you guys. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall. Flex your toes towards your nose here. Bring your palms right at your hips. Pull your chin back in space. Pull your shoulders towards your spine here. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward here. If you can catch your shins, awesome. If you can catch your ankles, great. If you can get to the bottoms of your feet, cool. Find what's comfortable for you. No straining as we move it into our cool down phase. And just relax your head. Tuck it into your chest. Focus on your breath here. If you have a slight bend in your knees, that's okay. Just breathe. Big inhale. Feel that oxygen go into the bottom of your lungs. Exhale. Let it go. Feel yourself sinking forward a little bit more. No pulling, no straining. Just letting your body do its thing. Inhale, release, slowly roll all the way up in your upper body. And as you exhale, pull that left heel into your right thigh. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Again, catching where it's comfortable for you. Relax your head down. Just focus on that breath. Notice where you're still holding in tension. Just let it go. Inhale, release, rolling all the way back up. Extend that left leg out, pull your right leg in. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, catching where you can. Focus on your breath here, inhaling in and out. One more big inhale. Inhale, release, slow and controlled, roll all the way up. Extend your legs and with control, release yourself all the way down to your mat. Bring the bottoms of your feet onto the mat, bend your knees. Bring your palms down to the floor. Take a big inhale in and out. With that next inhale, press your feet into the ground. Send your hips to the ceiling. Press your palms into your mat. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, press your hips even higher. Exhale, release. One more, inhale. Exhale. Great. Inhale. Bring your knees into your chest. Catch them with your hands. Give yourself a little tug here, lifting your tailbone up off the floor. Inhaling in and out. Holding it here in stillness for one breath. Big inhale. And as you exhale, release that left leg down. Then you're right. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as the mat. Bring your hands down onto the floor, palms open to the ceiling. Close your eyes if you haven't already. You can snuggle your shoulder blades underneath of your chest. Get yourself comfortable as we move into our Savasana. Just our final resting pose where we just focus on our breath. We focus on being still, being present. Now, if you notice it's really difficult for you to just stop your mind from telling you all the things you need to do in about five minutes when class is over. Count your breath. 
One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four, and keep that going until you get to 10, and then start again. Just take a big inhale in, and as you exhale, just allow yourself to be completely still, be present, and just breathe. With that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, rock through your legs, wiggle your arms and your fingertips, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes, roll your head left and right, and then turn onto your side facing me. Use your arm as a pillow here. Close your eyes, take a big inhale in through the nose. And now, inhale, press yourself away from the floor, come into a comfortable seated position, legs crossed, eyes closed, hands in your lap, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale in, and out. Bring your palms together right up to your forehead, inhaling in, and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Big inhale in and out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. One more big inhale in. And as you exhale, bow forward, sealing our practice. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining this morning. I hope that I had several new people. I can't really see the screen right now. Um, but I really wanted to give you guys a slow beginner, very much an introductory level of yoga, just so you can feel confident that you completed it. Hopefully you're feeling better physically, feeling a little more calm mentally. Um, and remember, you can always go over to my YouTube. There's tons of our live sessions that I keep uploading one a week. Um, so those are always there for you anytime you want them. Um, so
subscribe. I think I'm supposed to say that now. It feels so silly. But um, another way that you guys can support me if you are not able to do a donation, um, you can always share this group. You can share the tank top that I have available, which I'm so excited for. It's got catching waves yoga and it's got this giant wave right in the middle. Um, it's beautiful if you haven't checked it out. I would love for you guys to purchase one and just fully support me, support this practice and grow this brand. Like I'm very excited that even though it's a weird time to start this on the digital level, I'm excited to see where it goes and it truly means the world to have your guys' support. So with that, be an awesome human, stay healthy, drink lots of oxygen, through your water that is, <laughs> and you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.